Hello YouTube, we are live. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. I am Nina. Happy Wednesday or whatever day you're watching this on. And today I'm very excited about our video topic because we're going to be speaking about shoes and bags. And I really love this topic. So let's jump straight into it. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, do the right thing so that we can get this knowledge out there. So this video we're going to be speaking about, I'm going to be sharing some ideas of um, shoes and bags, accessories basically, these accessories that you will be wearing out on your dates. My hair looks a little bit crazy because we're, it's wash day. So I just like to let it dry naturally. So let's look past that just for two minutes. Okay. So these are bags and shoes that I pair up when I go on dates. So I want us to speak specifically about dates because what you wear on a date is going to be slightly different from what you wear in your everyday kind of life okay so let's jump straight into it so i want to first start with kind of casual dates so these will be lunch dates you know going out and doing an activity dates um more daytime dates and more really chilled vibes kind of dates if you understand what i mean so for dates like this um i would recommend flat shoes just because, for example, if you're going to a spa, you know, you want to be in that relaxed mode. So you want to walk around, you know, in nice, cute looking either sandals or like I'll show you over here, my slip on shoes. So you have to be appropriate. There's nothing worse than being, you know, inappropriately dressed. Then you just stick out and for the wrong reasons. You want to stand out, but you don't want to stick out like, oh my gosh, look at her. So, and it happens because people sometimes think that you have to wear certain things wherever you are. And that's not always true. So my go-to shoe, if I'm like running errands or I have a very simple, casual type of date setup, I'll tell you about my date um, towards the end of this video. Um, this is basically what I will wear. This is a very simple, very cute, um, you know, kind of slip on. And because of the gold and the actual, you know, detail, it actually looks very elevated and very, you know, princessy. So not only am I comfortable and appropriate, but I still stand out and I still look very feminine and very attractive with these shoes on. So you don't always have to have heels to be feminine, right? But you just have to understand how to how to play it. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. The next flat shoe that I have is a very simple kind of pump and with a lot of blink detail i've had this shoe for many many years and it still saves my you know my look when i'm really like okay i'm not doing the whole high heel experience today so this is basically the shoe and it's very comfortable it's very like enduring trust me um and once again you look like a little princess walking around with blingy shoes, it attracts attention. And it just makes you look very different from everybody who's wearing black shoes. Right? So these are basically the only flat shoes that I own besides sneakers, and I only wear those when I work out anyway. Um, the rest is basically heels. So I am working on that because I do feel like I have to increase the flat kind of shoe in my life because, you know, life um but for now this is what we're working with so these shoes and you'll see with most of my shoes i keep them very 
nude and very um, simple. So I don't really have colors that jump out and stand out just because it's easier to accessorize with nude shoes. Nude shoes also make your feet or your legs, actually not your feet, they make your legs look a little bit longer just because they don't really break your skin color um, as much as, you know, a bright colored shoe. So like, for example, this shoe I love. I absolutely love this shoe. It is so cute. It is so feminine. It's so dainty. It's so... Uh. But because of the color, first of all, I find it a little bit tricky to kind of accessorize it. So I like my shoes and my bag to be the same. So I basically still need to get a bag for her because it's, yeah, it just looks better when you... It's like you're more coordinated. It's more deliberate when you have your shoe and your bag matching so i really like this one but i do get away with some of my bags because my bags are also very neutral but we still need to get her um so we're taking sponsorships for red bags thank you so much <laughs> okay then my go-to shoe for example i'll wear it sometimes at the office i know it's a little bit like extra because it's so shiny and bling but i think you kind of understand that that's how everything is around here so um this is a very very cute shoe it was a gift from india my mother bought these for me my mother still buys me clothes and shoes <laughs> and she's got very good taste in shoes as you can see so i don't mind that at all so this shoe is my favorite because it is so comfortable I would never go for a shoe that had has a platform, but you know, I wouldn't have before this. You'll see all my other shoes, none of them have a platform, but this makes such a huge difference. Not only is it super, super comfortable, but the platform actually minimizes the distance of the heel from the from the floor for you, essentially, because you're not stepping here, you're stepping up here. So this can be longer without your foot having to arch more, if that makes sense. So platforms are such a, a, a good go-to. And of course, the color, once again, is very neutral, very nude. So when you wear it, it actually doesn't break your skin tone at all. So it looks like it's an extension of your leg. It makes you look much taller and makes your legs look much longer. And this shoe goes with basically every single one of my bags, probably except the blue bag, um, just because all my bags are nude or brown or beige or neutral. <laughs> this is like my favorite shoe. I can't really say that because I have, okay, I really love this shoe. Then we have this shoe, which is really worn. <laughs> Just because I've worn the living daylights out of it. Um, but you can understand why. So I really love this shoe. It is my favorite brand of shoe, Steve Madden. This is also Steve Madden. And we'll get to another Steve Madden in a minute. I'm obsessed with Steve Madden's. They are just not only absolutely beautiful but they're super comfortable if you're going out on a date the last thing you need to be worried about is your feet you want to be relaxed you want to look good you want to be elegant you know you want to walk that walk girl um and you want to you know you want to be comfortable so steve madden's for me just they absolutely have that they don't have a platform these ones in particular but they're so well made that you actually, I never get tired when I wear Steve Madden's. I can wear Steve Madden's from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. and still be okay. These shoes are like, oh, the holy grail. Okay, and once again, this one will go with every single one of my bags, as you can see. Um, not necessarily that one, but I could get away with it, but I wouldn't. Um, and then obviously all of these ones as well we'll go through the bags in a minute but this is just so pretty okay then <laughs> you 
piece, How Much I Love the Shoe. Another Steve Madden. This is the latest Steve Madden purchase. I have, I think, one or two more pairs in my wardrobe, but they're so worn. <laughs> it's not worth bringing out. It's just, it's not worth it. But I am obsessed with Steve Madden. Just because, I mean, this is, which girl wouldn't? You know? Oh, anyway, so this shoe is like the ultimate for me. So what I like about it is that the sun is just straight in my face, you guys. I'm so, so sorry for this terrible light, but hey, hey, Chloe. What I love about this shoe is that it's a very unusual color. So as much as it looks gray, it's like more of a charcoal kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's just, it's beautiful. And it's very sparkly, and once again, it's very comfortable. I really love this detail over here as well. It's just, it gives me like very um, um, Hermes vibes, like the Greek god with the um, feathers on his ankles. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense. But it just gives me very like out of out of this world kind of vibes. I don't know. I really, really love it. And of course the bling detail is just amazing. So this shoe, that's basically the shoe that goes with that blue bag. So I'm just gonna bring the blue bag closer. So you guys can see it. Okay, so that's how I pair. That's how I pair that up. So if I'm wearing something blue, something green, you know, something gray, that's basically how I'll dress it up. But these are also so versatile that even if I'm wearing something like um, floral or, you know, like this has a hint of blue, so that would definitely go with this as well. Um, that's what I like, even though it is color, very distinct teal, but it's also not so loud and so attention seeking that it can't play with other kids, you know? So I really love that bag. And then, <sighs> sorry you guys, I think they're doing repairs next door. So if you hear all that thumping and men talking, that's what's happening. Then, of course, you have to have a boot, right? You have to, have to have a boot. So for me, this is like how I rock it. Um, this is like a suede kind of material. It's very soft, very beautiful. You just need to wipe it. It's very easy to maintain. I really love that. And the heel is very sturdy um, and very... It's not very high, but it, I think it looks higher than it really is. It doesn't really have a platform, no. But yeah, this heel looks higher than it really is. Um, and this is obviously what you wear with like your long pants in winter or a short dress or a short skirt or something like that. It's really, really cute. And it goes with like every single one of my bags, <laughs> basically. So love, 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 love this week. So let's move on to bags. This is basically my everyday bag. I think I'm just gonna sit back here for a minute. Yes, okay. So this is my everyday go-to bag. Um, the size for me is just absolutely perfect just because, you know, I always have a hundred million things that I need to put into my bag, ladies. You feel me, right? I'm not on my own over here. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I always have like a million things in in my bag. Okay, so we'll just do a quick rundown of what, what's in the bag. But this is like an everyday errand kind of bag or going to work kind of bag or hanging with the girls kind of bag uh, or maybe even daytime date kind of bag but I wouldn't take it on a night date um, even daytime date just it would really depend 
but I'll, I'll go into my day guys. Okay, so in here, I basically have, you know, my purse, um, little girl's pouch where we keep our girl stuff. Um, perfume, um, shades, and obviously a mask. I have to wash this. <laughs> but it matches my life, this is really cool. Um, and then like, you know, gum, hand lotion. Um, I have two types of hand lotion. So I have a scent-free hand lotion, just because sometimes I, I wanna only smell like my perfume. I don't really wanna smell like a lot of different things. And then I also have this cute little scented um, hand lotion that is an absolute favorite of mine, so I'm just gonna actually go ahead. Go ahead and put that on. What else do I have in here? Of course, I have essential oils in my bag. If you guys know, I do make like massage oils and massage products and stuff like that. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see sometimes I'll post that stuff up there. So um, I just really love essential oils. They, they smell different, you know, you'll never really smell like somebody else when you're walking them. So I keep them close by. And like I said, I have scent-free hand lotion. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of put a drop or two when I put that on, rub that on my hands and smell it in all day. Okay, then we have tissues and you know, mystifying powder, all of that girly kind of stuff. Lipstick, mirrors, you know, it has to be. Has to be sure you don't have spinach in your teeth. And all of that kind of stuff. And another mask in here. That's basically my bag. Okay, so this, like I said, is my daytime, everyday go-to kind of bag. It's got so many nice different compartments. I really love this bag. And yeah, it matches all my shoes. So I can just grab it and go. I don't have to think, oh my goodness, what shoe am I wearing? Um, because that's a that's a thing, you know. Then of course we have this one that we've been through. This is very, very cute. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're actually able to remove this chain completely and just have it as a hand press. And then you're actually able to take this top off completely because it's interchangeable. It's got another one that is more like leather, black though, and um, with like the actual animal fur. <laughs> Um, but I don't really like that. I like this one, so I always keep this one on. But that's what I like about this bag. It's very versatile, it's very cute. Um, yeah, and you can pack, you know, your phone and your power bank and all of that in here. This is like my super cute, super, I'm not doing anything today. I'm not lifting up anything today. I'm just showing up and going back home. This is probably my favorite thing about this bag. Have you have you guessed that I like them? And I really like pairing it with these boots. It's like they were made for each other. I actually got this bag at a um what are these shops? I think it's a charity shop, you know, where they sell stuff like really, really um cheap. How much was that? I think it was like 50 rand. Yeah, and I thought, wow, I really, really love this bag. And then I, I got this as a present, um, and it was just, they were made for each other. So this is like my superstar bag. And then this is like my bad girl bag. This bag is just so, uh, it was a gift, and I have no idea where it's from. All I know is that it's alligator and it's just, uh, it's just, it attracts so much attention just because it's so unusual and it's as much as it's very like 
you know, it can almost come across a little bit masculine because I mean, it's a whole anime that, you know. Um, but it's also very feminine, you know, it's very, very feminine. But it's like, you know, a dangerous feminine woman, you know. Um, I really, really like this bag. Um, and once again, it goes with basically every single shoe that I have, you know, just because it's, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just, you know. This is a bag that I usually take on dates um, just because it's it's very attractive, but it's also very feminine. Um, and whether you're going on a day date or an evening date, this bag is very versatile. You can take it, you know, either way and this is our final bag I really like leather as well just because it's very classic and you know it's associated with class it's associated with you know upgrading leveling up and all of that kind of stuff and also it endures the years it endures the test of time this bag was passed down to me by my big sister. So, you know, it's it's been around for a while and yet, you know, it's still a very good bag. You know, nothing broken, nothing torn, nothing. It's a perfect, perfect bag. I really love it because it's pretty compact and easy to carry around, very practical, um, and it's actually very spacious. You can fit a lot of stuff into it. So I really love that about it. And that's basically um, what I wanted to share with you guys. You know, I don't have like a super big collection of shoes and bags. I don't have a super expensive collection of shoes and bags yet. Um, but I'm learning to appreciate certain things about how, you know, the right shoe, the right bag, the right combination of these two will really take your look to the next level. When you buy shoes, buy them very intentionally. Buy them, you know, to match a look, to create a look, to match a bag. That makes you look very different. And people comment about it. I get all sorts of compliments about how stylish I am, how well put together I am, and how I stand out because, you know, not a lot of people even put any effort into how they look, let alone trying to match their shoe and their bag. Like, people don't do that. So it, it becomes a signature thing for you, something that you become known for, okay? So put that little bit of effort and not only just for how people see you, but it also makes you feel so, you know, like, hey, I got this. I'm well put together. You, you feel very different. Okay, so... Now that we've covered that, let's go into my date review. Um, oh, before we do that, I also just wanted to highlight, ladies, if you're going to be wearing open toe shoes, whether it's flat shoes, high heel shoes, sandals, stilettos, wedges, it doesn't matter. Please, 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 please make sure that your feet are pedicured. <laughs> your hands are manicured. Because there's nothing worse than seeing a beautiful shoe on a foot that just needs so much attention. You don't want to be that woman. It just looks like maybe you borrowed someone's shoe, like it can't be your shoe, okay? So make sure that whatever shoe that you wear, you know, get yourself a, a, a pedicure. Make sure that your toes look good. They don't have to be painted. They can just be plain. But, you know, they clean, they well groomed, and, you know, have your hands looking the same as well. It just makes you look well-rounded instead of you just threw a shoe on and ran out your house. Okay. So, now that we are, we've, we've covered that topic, let's go into how my date was. So, I went on a date on Saturday. As you guys would know, I was getting ready on my last video. Um, and it was such a fun date. It was probably one of the best dates that I've been on so far on this experiment of ours, right? So 
We went to, so this was a third date, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a third date. So um, we went to a shooting range. So he took me to a shooting range. We obviously spoke about it before. And as much as I was like, why would I want to go shooting? And I thought, you know what? It might actually be fun because it's so different from anything that I've ever thought about or ever done. So let's try it out. So we went. We went to a shooting range and um, we got guns, real guns, with like real bullets. And we had a bet the whole week that whoever, you know, shoots the closest to the target or whatever is going to be the winner. And the winner gets to decide what the prize is, which is a very risky game. But I was like, you know what? I'm game. Let's do it. It was a lot of fun. We were taunting each other the whole week. That was a lot of fun. And then um, when the day finally came and we got there, it was a little bit terrifying. So they give you like these goggles and they give you these um, like head gear things to wear. And then they give you your guns. And then you go to the place. It's like underground. It's like very... It's just like what it looks like in, in the video games. If any of you have ever played Grand Theft Auto, there is a shooting range um, in there, in the gun shop. Um, it looks exactly like that, basically. So long story short, I won. Um, let me show you guys the guy that I was shooting. <laughs> give me a second. I got a lot of bullseye, okay. So I won the bet basically, and I even <laughs> shot him in the head just for control, just to show that it, this is not a game. <laughs> okay, so no, I'm not getting sponsored by these people in any way, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. So yes, that's how the date went. It was a lot of fun, so I won. So I'm waiting for my prize to be delivered. Um, and yeah, and then after that we went in and, and got some lunch and had the chat. Um, so we'll talk about that in a separate video, the chat, um, much, much later. But for now, I just want to put it out there that ladies, you know, you are deserving of somebody who's actually going to put effort into spending time with you. He wants to spend time with you for who you are, absolutely. But he also wants to make you smile. He wants to create memories with you. He wants you to think about him and think about something other than, you know, how he's just like any other guy that you met. So if your guy is not really putting in and I'm not saying that somebody who puts an effort is your guy, but if somebody's not putting an effort, it kind of, it should be a, a red flag to you that this man doesn't take your relationship seriously because he's not even trying to make it special. You know, and as women, when we feel like somebody values us and, you know, we're special to them, it just, it hits different. And that's what dating for me is about. It's not necessarily, you know, um, about everything that I can get. No, it's, it's about reminding myself and allowing men to remind me that, yes, men want to do things for me. Men want to spoil me. Men want to see me smile. Men want to, you know, men see me as special. And whether you're in a relationship with a specific person and they're expressing that to you, or you're dating and you're seeing multiple people, you're not committed to anybody, and you're you know happy with everybody showing you how special they see you as, it doesn't really matter. You know, as long as as a woman you are feeling that in your dating experience, that is really what you're going for because. When the man is committed to making you feel special, you know, that is the type of man that you want to end up with. That's the type of man that you want to end up with. Because 
as a woman, you know, you're putting all of this effort, putting yourself together, improving yourself. And we'll talk about more than just your superficial looks, but you're putting yourself together and making yourself, you know, that inspiration for him. And when you motivate him and he does fun things for you, good things for you, it's such a beautiful cycle. You know, you give to him, he gives to you, you receive, you give to him. You know, it's just, it's a beautiful cycle. So I'm just here to share that. I'm here to experience that and share my experience. If it's something that resonates with you, great. Subscribe, <laughs> like, share, comment. Let me know that you're on the same page. Um, and once again, I do do one-on-one -on -one consultations for dating. If you are struggling to get a date, do hit me up, inbox me, DM me, follow me on Instagram, and um, connect with me. We can set up a, uh, a Zoom call and get on to why you are not getting these fun dates because these men love taking girls out on dates. He wants to take you out on a date too, sis. So... Do that, and if you guys have any topics that you'd like us to cover on these videos, um, also put that in the comments below. And I'll see you beautiful princesses in my next video. Until then, stay safe, take care of yourself, have fun, stay beautiful. Bye.